Welcome to Firebase Release Notes for December, where I wear everyone's favorite holiday sweater and we cover seven recent updates from Firebase. Let's dig in. Since I mentioned our support for Next.js last month, we've also published an update on our support for Vue. The TODR is that we're teaming up with the Vue core team to build a first-class Vue and Firebase experience, including support for Nuxt. And we're bringing that to your favorite command line, Firebase Deploy. David East and Eduardo San Martin Morota are working together to build Viewfire, a library of idiomatic composables for real-time data and other Firebase services. Want to learn more? Check out the link to the blog post that I included below. If you are part of our early access program for developing your own extensions for Firebase, you can build configurable blocks of reusable app functionality that you can then publish on the Firebase Extensions Marketplace on extensions.dev. And if you use version 11.3 or later for admin SDK for Node, you can now report the state and fatal errors that your extension encounters to the extensions runtime. These will then show up in the Firebase console, as you can see here. For more info, see the reference docs that are linked in the description and go to extensions.dev to join the EAP. Firestore Time to Live or TTL policies allow you to configure a field in your documents that determines when that document gets automatically deleted from Firestore. Since Firebase CLI version 11.18, you can include these TTL policies in your Firestore index definition files too, and the TTL policies would then be added, updated, or deleted when you deploy the indexes by running Firebase Deploy. And speaking of Firestore indexes, if you make extensive use of queries in your app, you may hit the default limit of 200 composite indexes. Well, now you can reach out to our support team to request an index of this limit, so that you can keep adding the indexes needed for your complex queries. If you use Firebase Remote Config to personalize the app experience for each of your users, you can now see a list of all such personalizations in the Firebase console, where you can compare the total lift and other metrics and click on any personalization to get its detailed results, as we see right here. And have you ever wanted to customize the experience for, say, just your new users? Or how about offering a holiday promo for users who join in December? Well, now you can do that too, with the first open condition that's available for Remote Config, A-B testing, and personalization. Links to the documentation for all of these are in the description. Our real-time database APIs have always had a start at and end at parameter that allow you to start at and end at a specific node in the query results, so that you can get a slice of the data. Earlier this year, we also added calls to start after and end before a certain node to our SDKs to give you more granular control of the results. Well, now we also added support for the start after and end before parameters to the REST API of the real-time database, so that you can now retrieve just the nodes that you need there too. And finally, when you create a Firestore database in one of your Firebase projects, you may now see a banner that links you to steps that you still need to do after creating the database. This includes things like registering your app with the Firebase project, adding the Firestore SDKs to your code base, and writing data to and reading from collections in your application code. I said that you may see this banner, as it's part of an A-B test. So for once, there's no need to let us know whether you like it in the comments, but instead we'll measure whether it helps, and if so, we'll roll out the checklist to everyone in the coming months. Those were all the updates we have time for today, and probably also for this year. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel below. My name is Frank Puff, and I'll see you on a future episode of Firebase Release Notes.